Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So today let us continue our discussion with Gram-Schmidt procedure for orthogonalization or orthonormalization. All right, so I am going to describe more about it. So let us talk about the Gram-Schmidt procedure. This is a procedure for orthogonalization. the procedure for orthogonalization what is the gram schmidt procedure the procedure is basically follows let us say we have a basis for a subspace that is basically given by the vectors x1 bar x2 bar so on uh, xn bar this is a basis now from this, this can be any basis. Now from this, we obtain for the same subspace given basis for subspace. Let us say given basis for a subspace. Now for the same subspace, we obtain another basis V1 bar, V2 bar v n bar such that now this is a basis for the same subspace such that norm v i bar equal to 1 that is each vector has unit norm and v i bar Hermitian v j bar equal to 0 that is the vectors are orthogonal. So, the vectors are orthonormal. So, we say V1, V1 bar, V2 bar, so on, Vn bar, these are orthonormal set of vectors, correct? Orthogonal and unit norm. So, this is an orthonormal set of vectors. And more importantly, this basis is an orthonormal basis, right? So, what do we mean by an orthonormal basis? It is a basis for the same subspace as x1 bar, x2 bar, xn bar. That is essentially the subspace uh, you might recall is basically the span of all these vectors, right? So, it is spanned by all these vectors essentially it is formed by the linear combinations of x1 bar, x2 bar, xn bar. So, what we are saying, so what the gram schmidt procedure gives you is another equivalent basis v1 bar, v2 bar, vn bar, but with the property that these vectors are have unit norm and they are orthogonal to each other that is it is an orthonormal basis and spans the same subspace that is any vector in the original subspace can be expressed as a linear combination of v1 bar, v2 bar, vn bar. Okay. So, orthonormal basis for same subspace. For the same this implies original vector in original subspace can be expressed as linear combination of v1 bar, v2 bar, vn bar, right. So, how do we obtain this orthonormal subspace? What is the procedure? the gram schmidt procedure is as follows we start with so we are given x1 bar x2 bar up to xn bar right we start with v1 bar equals 
x1 bar divided by norm of x1 bar right so this is the first one you can see v1 bar now this v1 bar you can see this will be unit norm because you are taking x1 bar dividing it by norm of x1 bar so you can take so you can clearly see this will be unit norm now the second vector has to be now v2 bar now first we will form this vector v2 tilde v2 tilde is formed by taking x2 bar and subtracting from x2 bar the component along v1 bar this is important x2 bar which is given by the inner product x2 bar v1 bar times v1 bar this is essentially what we are calling as the component or projection along v1 bar v1 bar or the projection the projection along v1 bar which is equal to x2 bar minus x2 bar hermitian i'm sorry this is essentially nothing but x2 bar hermitian v1 bar times v1 bar this is the projection of x2 bar along uh, this is the projection of x2 bar along uh, along the uh, v1 bar right so this is essentially the uh, so you are removing the component and therefore what you can show so what you are doing is from v2 tilde uh, from x2 bar you are removing the component that is along v1 bar so what is remaining will be perpendicular or orthogonal to v1 bar so x2 so v2 tilde you can verify v2 tilde is perpendicular to v1 bar or v2 tilde is essentially orthogonal to v1 bar v2 tilde is orthogonal to v1 bar okay therefore now so you have v2 tilde is orthogonal to v1 bar now we need the unit norm v2 tilde right so unit norm v2 tilde now you get v2 bar is simply taking v2 tilde and dividing this by the norm of v2 tilde so that will make v2 tilde unit norm as well as orthogonal to v1 bar plus because v2 tilde is already orthogonal to v1 bar v2 bar will also be orthogonal to so at every step you are removing the projections along the orthonormal basis already found which makes the resulting vector ortho orthogonal to the previously determined orthonormal vectors and then finally you divide it by the norm to make it unit norm all right so similarly we will have again going through the same procedure you will have v3 tilde this is equal to x3 bar minus the inner product of x3 bar comma v1 bar with v1 bar minus x3 bar comma v2 bar with v2 bar and therefore your v3 bar will be equal to v3 tilde divided by the norm of v3 v3 tilde divided by the norm of v3 tilde okay and similarly we will have vi tilde is equal to xi bar minus summation j equal to 1 to i minus 1 xi bar hermitian vj bar 
times v j bar x i bar Hermitian v j bar minus v j bar. So, you are removing the projections along or removing components along v 1 bar v 2 bar v bar i minus 1 and finally, we have v i bar equals v i tilde divided by norm divided by norm v i tilde. So, this essentially eventually, so this eventually results in the orthonor. So, this leads to the orthonormal basis v 1 bar v 2 bar this eventually leads to the orthonormal basis v 1 bar v 2 bar v n bar. Okay. All right. So, essentially at every stage you are removing the projections along the previously determined uh, orthonormal vectors and then finally, you are dividing it by its own norm to make it. So, this makes it orthogonal to the previously determined orthonormal vectors and then finally, you divide it by its norm to make it unit norm. Let us take a simple example to understand this better. So, let us take a simple example, we have x 1 bar equals 1 1 1 1 and x 2 bar equals 1 2 3 4 and x 3 bar equals 1 minus 2 3 minus 1 and therefore, we have now to start the Gram Schmidt procedure. Now, we want to do the Gram Schmidt procedure. Now, therefore, we have remember the first one is very simple x v 1 bar equals simply take x 1 bar divided by its norm to make unit norm. Uh, we have x 1 bar equal to 1 1 1 1. So, norm of x 1 bar if you look at this is equal to square root of 4 equal to 2. So, v 1 bar will be 1 over 2 times the vector x 1 bar which is essentially this is your v 1 bar. What is your v 2 tilde? Now, let us form the v 2 tilde, v 2 tilde equals remember uh, you have your x 2 bar since these are real vectors I am going to simply write x 2 bar transpose v 1 bar times v 1 bar which is nothing but x 2 bar is 1 2 3 4 x 2 bar is 1 2 3 4 minus uh, this will be x 2 bar transpose v 1 bar. So, that will be uh, 7 2 9 5 times v 1 bar which is half 1 1 1 1. So, if you look at this, this is going to be basically 1 2 3 4 this and this you can do uh, you can check 
this is going to be minus 3 by 2 minus half half 3 by 2 which is basically if you look at it half times minus 3 minus 1 1 comma 3. So, this is the vector and now you obtain V 2 bar by taking V 2 tilde dividing it by its norm. So, take V 2 tilde divide it by its norm. So, this will be V 2 bar which is equal to V 2 tilde divide it by its norm sorry this will be V 2 tilde. that is correct. So, this is going to be 1 divided by and the norm of this it is not very difficult to see the norm of this uh, if you divide it by its norm you will obtain 1 over twice square root of 5 times minus 3 minus 1 1 comma 3. So, this is your V 2 tilde okay? and this is essentially unit norm. Now, let us recall the property this is basically unit norm and orthogonal to V 1 bar. We can quickly check it you can see for instance V 1 bar equals half you have 1 1 1 1 v 2 bar equals 1 over twice square root of 5 minus 3 minus 1 1 comma 3. Uh, so, you can first see norm v 2 bar square equals 1 over 20 times 1 times 9 plus I am sorry 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 9 equals essentially 1 which implies norm v 2 bar square equal to 1 plus v 2 bar transpose v 1 bar or v 2 bar Hermitian v 1 bar this will be equal to uh, you can see this is equal to well uh, you can write the constants, but it does not matter 1 over 4 square root of 5 times minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 plus 3 which is equal to which is equal to 0. So, V 2 bar V 1 bar. So, you can see V 2 bar V 1 bar are orthonormal right because they are orthogonal to each other and the both of them have unit norm. Now, let us again find V 3 bar again the same procedure take x 3 x 3 bar remove the components along v 1 bar v 2 bar and divide it then you get v 3 tilde divided by its norm to get v 3 bar. Okay? So, the procedure is again very so you have v 3 tilde which is basically you start with x 3 bar minus you take uh, x 3 bar comma v 2 bar or v 1 bar v 1 bar minus x 3 bar v 2 bar v 2 bar which is basically now you take 1 minus 2 3 minus 1 minus half into half 1 1 1 1 minus or this will rather be you can check minus or I am going to write what is this this projection is going to be minus 1 over twice square root of 5 1 over twice square root of 5 times minus 3 minus 1 1 3. Uh, which you can write essentially now as 
वन माइनस टू थ्री माइनस वन माइनस वन ओवर फोर वन 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 प्लस वन ओवर ट्वेंटी माइनस थ्री माइनस वन वन कॉमा थ्री एंड देन यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस एज द फॉलोइंग यू कैन राइट दिस एज वन ओवर ट्वेंटी एंड यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इट्स नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सी दिस विल बी वन ओवर ट्वेंटी ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस ट्वेंटी टू and uh, then this is your v3 bar or this is your v3 tilde and uh, now v3 bar which is equal to v3 tilde divided by norm of v3 tilde which is equal to essentially 1 over you can calculate this square root of 5880 times 12 minus 46 56 Minus twenty two equals one over fourteen square root of thirty times twelve minus forty six fifty six minus twenty two. Okay, so this is essentially what you have, right? so that is essentially that brings us so essentially now if you look at it we have the original set of vectors x1 bar x2 bar x3 bar now after the gram schmidt procedure the orthonormal basis the orthonormal basis is given as half One 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 comma uh, one over two square root of five uh, minus three minus one one comma three and one over fourteen square root of thirty. Twelve forty six. Twelve minus forty six. Sorry, let me just write it clearly. Twelve minus forty six. Minus forty six. Fifty six. Minus twenty two. So this is essentially you are. As we have already said. this is a orthonormal basis that is each vector in this basis has unit norm and the vectors are orthogonal to each other so the gram schmidt procedure has helped us derive this orthonormal basis starting with the basis that is a general basis that is x1 bar x2 bar x3 bar all right so let us stop this module over here and we will continue in the subsequent modules thank you very much